All right, give me your knees and your eyes up here, please. Everybody spinning around, thank you. And uh, we need to talk about something. We're gonna problem solve right now. As a class, this is your class, you're gonna solve a problem that's going on in the class right now. The last week, for your consensus, I've taken your math papers that you've turned in, I've checked them over, and you guys just aren't reaching consensus with each other. The papers aren't matching up. And almost every day I have to put them up on the document camera, right? And we're looking at them, we're saying, these just don't match. So something's going on. I want you guys as a class to solve the problem. I want you as a class, as a team, each one of you and your individual teams are going to brainstorm right now how to solve the problem. We need to have those papers match up, otherwise you guys are not understanding the math, right? You're not learning the math. So we got to get them to match up somehow. Here's how you're going to do it. You have a table leader. They're going to lead the discussion. They're going to make sure that you guys stay on task and you're discussing what I've asked you to discuss. I would like the table leader to make sure that one student at your group is recording the information that you're coming up with. So they're going to have a piece of paper out, not right now, everybody's still paying attention, good. They're going to take out a piece of paper and they're going to write down what your group is coming up with. Keep track of it. Okay? One of your team members is going to keep track of the clock. In just a second I'll give you how much time you're going to have to brainstorm as a group and come up with some ideas. So three of you are going to have a job right now. The fourth person, just jump in and be busy with your group and help them out. Uh, and then I'm going to call you back to attention and we're going to talk about what your ideas are. We're going to get your ideas from you know, the other groups and then we're going to come up with a plan as a class of how we can solve this and we're going to actually try it today. We're going to put your plan into action today. Now I just gave you a bunch of directions. I don't want you to follow the directions. I want you to turn to your neighbor and repeat the directions of what you're going to do. Wait. When I give you the teach command, you're going to turn, you're going to talk using gestures, you're going to explain to your neighbor what the directions are. That's it. Just what the directions are. And I want you to explain it this way. This partner with this partner, this partner with this partner. Ready? Teach. Thank you. Great job. Wow. I, I heard all kinds of kids in here that were discussing the directions with their neighbor. Saw you, a lot of use of hand gestures, so we're going to add another minute of movie. Thank you, sir. Now that you know what the directions are, is anybody confused by the directions right now? A little confused, just one person? Okay, so you'll figure it out because your table group is going to help you because the rest of them know the directions. I would like you to follow the directions right now of solving the problem of kids not reaching consensus. What could we do as a class to make sure kids reach consensus? Brainstorming, taking notes. I'm going to walk around, I'm going to watch and listen to your conversations. Ready? Teach! Catches you like not uh, reaching consensus, uh, pay more than like more than how much tickets we're owing right now. So at, le at least it tells. Class. Yes. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and give you another four minutes. So when the clock hits quarter after, 
you're going to be out of time for this brainstorming so problem solving session. So the timekeepers, keep your eye on the clock. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, if every person in the classroom reaches consensus, we get like five minutes of minutes. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, I think also maybe we should do something like, um, I don't know, like, we'll get like more computer time and like, or get free homework passes or something like that. Like we'll be able to pick out prizes. Thank you. I noticed that you guys were starting to settle down when it got to quarter after, so that means your timekeepers must have been watching the clocks. How many of you already knew it was quarter after when it, before I even said class? Ah, many of you. Good. That means the timekeepers were doing, doing their job in your group. Uh, show me on your fingers right now how you felt your group did in terms of working together and staying on task. Five, our group totally stayed on task and worked together. One, didn't do a very good job on that. Oh, I see most of you are giving your group a five and some lower scores in there. You're being pretty honest about that. I want you to real quickly, in about the next 30 seconds, just reflect on how your group did on working together and staying on task. Go. Uh, first group, who wants to share first for us? Aaron, thanks for raising your hand without shouting out or making any noises. I'm going to let you share first. We thought, um, we thought of like maybe it'll get people to work harder on consensus if we give them a prize if they do it right. And if like they get it wrong, we, we, they should pay tickets. All right, thank you, Aaron. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have you call on the next student that you would like to hear from. Aaron, try to call on different people, a variety of people, and all of you guys. We're going to chain this. So when you're done sharing, you're going to call the next person's name that would like to give an idea for the class. Aaron, you're going to call on the next person. Leah. Um, we came up with a few ideas. Um, we came, the first idea 